Did you know that 90% of the best performing professionals have high levels of emotional intelligence, according to a Talent Smart study? Emotional intelligence is a psychology concept used to designate the human being's ability to deal with emotions. To manage emotions and achieve emotional intelligence, there must be a balance between the areas present in the two sizes of the brain. The left side of the brain controls analytical and logical tasks. That is, linear thinking, mathematics, language and writing, in other words, our whole rational side. The right side of the cerebral is responsible for emotional activities that includes the capacity for synthesis, intuition, understanding of language, music, and gestures. The psychologist, writer, and PhD of Harvard University Mr. Goleman was the one who made the concept of EI popular when he published his book, Emotional Intelligence, the revolutionary theory that redefines what it means to be intelligent, but he was not the first to tackle the subject. Edward Thorndike was already studying the concept since 1920 and he described intelligence emotional as the ability to manage emotions. But based on Goleman's studies the five pillars of EI were defined, and they are presented as self-awareness, self-control, motivation, empathy, and social skills. People who manage to have control their emotions can manage better their lives and all this contributes to achieving personal and professional goals during the life. Keeping that in mind, I would like to share with you how the emotional intelligence can be used and or improve in an internship environment. Self-awareness Self-awareness is the ability to recognize your mood and how it affects the people around you, being fully aware of your emotions, strengths, and weaknesses. In a humorous way, do you believe that here in Ireland you need to have self-awareness? <laughs> what are the things you like and what you don't like to do? You're aware that you need to go through challenges to achieve a higher goal, and that it doesn't always represent your expectations. Sometimes we bet big without thinking about the consequences, when we change countries, we must forget everything and start from scratch, without mastery of the language, living with people we've never seen in life, moving house many times, abandoning a career, and submitting to almost everything for a better chance. To become more self-conscious, we need 1. Understand our feelings. 2. Understand how they affect the people around us. 3. Be open to talk about it. Self-control. Having self-control is knowing how to use your emotional impulses to your advantage. Not letting emotions get in your way but motivating you if you achieve more results. Our emotions are biological impulses. And they come from a deeper part of the brain, that is, as automatic as breathing. And that makes control over these impulses into an ability. Impulses need a trigger. A situation or sensation that initiates the sequence of feelings. For example, when you go out make a delivery in a sun of 55 degrees and out of nowhere the weather changes. Or rather when you see your flat mate arrive at 2 a.m. and put the laundry to the fore just because he believes that the light is cheaper. It certainly spoils your mood. This could be a trigger for you to kill him. Self-control is the ability to control or guide these impulses to something productive. To obtain more self-control, we must pay light to three clears. 1. Be willing to reflect on your actions and behaviors constantly. 2. Be comfortable with changes and uncertainties in the work environment. 3. Be righteous and know how to say no to emotional impulses. And trust generates more results, improves teamwork, and makes it the easiest day. Let's talk a little bit about self-motivation. That is the fact of being able to maintain motivation even in the face of adversity. When the students move to Ireland, I can say based on my personal experience, our level of motivation is extremely high and we feel that we can conquer the world, but... But after two-thirds weeks, 125 no in jobs interviews because our English is not good enough. This. Couple. A gloss. Gloss. What about this? Chikara. A mug. Mug. This. Jara. A jug. Jug. 
Companies saying that due to our visa they cannot hire us, our level of motivation goes from 100 to 2. All these difficulties when we move in make us give up. That is when emotional intelligence and self-motivation are crucial. You are in here on your own, nobody is coming to say get up, go to work, do your assignments, you have to do that for yourselves, and bust your motivation to keep going through the way until the end. And some tips that we can give are. Rely on the friends that you have made here. Have a psychologist help you to deal with your thoughts. Set archivable goals and priorities. Use self-knowledge to find what motivates you and reinforce that in life's low moments. This is our chance to get to know a new culture, experience unique moments, and learn several things that documentaries don't teach you. So let's do it. Interpersonal skills of emotional intelligence, empathy, and social skills. If it is already difficult to live with our own family, what about sharing the day-to-day with strangers? It is a daily exercise of empathy and tolerance. The big secret lies in mutual respect. Sharing a house with new people, you should learn to live with the differences and habits. You must have empathy. Put yourself in the place of another person. You would be the ability to understand the other and for this, we put ourselves in their place. You must have social skills. Once you have empathy, you can act and interact with others satisfactorily. Social skills allow us to express ourselves. Skills such as good communication, flexibility, tolerance, and adaptability are some of the soft skills that come in the luggage of those who go through this experience. All the pillars established by Goleman can be learned and improved, so if you are having difficulties in any of the mentioned points, that's okay, the human being is an extremely intelligent machine and you will learn, if that is your goal. Life outside our homes is not easy, but if you want, it can be amazing. Only depends on you. Thank you for watching.